Hello and welcome back to TCG Dreamland. Today I have the ETB that we were going to open in the comparison video, but it just got here. So, I have a bunch of stuff that just arrived. So, I'm going to have some fun. I've got this as well as two booster boxes, and I should have like three more still on the way. But I kind of tend to record in batches. So for this particular recording session, I've got an ETB and two booster boxes. So that's all the regular stuff in there. We already know what's in there. I showed you in the other video. So let's just get into the packs. This will be a nice short video. I'm not going to try to stretch it out, make it last 10 minutes or anything, because surprisingly, some of my short videos have actually done well. You know, it just depends on who you got watching it it's not always about the algorithm you know if you have some nice loyal fans that spread spread the good word of cool openings <laughs> kamala toolbox hariyama porygon for the reverse oh wow we got a, a rainbow secret rare out of an etb so we've gotten we what in our in our last etb we had an alt art and now we have a secret rare in this one, we're having tremendous luck. We're having fantastic, amazing luck with our ETBs. Secret rares out of both of them, an alt art and then a rainbow secret rare in this one. Let me get my piles better. So that is fantastic. Colrus, who is Colrus? I don't remember. It's not a uh, Legends Arceus character. Ghastly Reverse, and then a Gengar. That's pretty cool. All right, can I do it this way? There we go. That's the correct way to do it. Four and two is the pack trick. All right, we've got Lady. That's just straight up Lady. That's interesting. All right, Blip Bug for the reverse, and then a Buffalant with the little Lost Zone mechanic. It's kind of an interesting mechanic. Uh, I don't really see it taking off unless they do it in the next set as well. Because the thing is, like, it requires you to have a whole bunch of cards that use that mechanic. It requires you to have a whole bunch of these Lost Zone cards. And this is the only set that has those. So you'd be making your entire deck out of cards from this set, basically. Or not your entire deck, but, like, a large portion of your deck would have to be cards from this set. And at this point in time, I don't think that's really... A competitive option. Ooh, Giratina V, very cool. So we're already at, we already have two hits out of our ETB here. We're only four packs and into the eight packs, halfway into the opening. We've got two hits already. Square that up. Don't want to ruin the surprise for me. I do that a lot because. I open so many cards, I can actually tell just by feeling the type of texturing the card has, what kind of card it is. So <laughs> when I'm doing the pack trick, I can kind of just like feel the edge of a card and I know what it is already. Not like the specific card, but like the type of card. All right, four and two. We've not gotten any trainer gallery. There are several cards from the Trainer Gallery that I would love. There's like three different Pikachus. We have another hit, Kyurem V. So three hits, two of them Vs, but then we got that Secret Rare. So we're up to three hits from our ETB. That is above average. I still have not pulled 
a Radiant Gardevoir, I would like to pull one, even though the value is terrible. I'd still like to pull one. Zoroark. All right, last pack. See if we can get something. All right, Colrus. We've got Silcoon, Machoke. Oh, that's cool. Looking out over the beautiful landscape. We've got a Cascoon and a Mimikyu. All right, so let's take a look at this Colrus again. Very nice. Getting a Rainbow Secret Rare out of an ETB. Very nice. So there you have it. So if you like Pokemon, I have... I believe five uh, booster box openings coming up. So make sure to subscribe if you want to see those. And I'll see you guys in the next video.